this is the uh, opening and review of the Nissan D i700 and the Air One Commander. Um, first of all, this is an unboxing to see what this box comes with. Um, basically, you get um, oh, the warranty card. This it comes from Minox. A uh, quick owner's manual. In both Japanese and English. True for the flash. The flash that comes is in a nice pouch. So here is the flash. So let's see. All right. And then Here's the flash. Feels really nice and solid. Um, here you can see has, I think it's for the extra power. This is for the sink. And this is for the batteries, uh, which is a cartridge. So. plastic but still feels really nice um, doesn't have better right now I will put batteries in a little bit um, and here's the controller comes in a little box and actually it says there is for Sony I hope you can see that little nice package and it's extremely small now that I see it um, this is a controller it has the same mechanism to lock um, for the Nissan and just for comparisons this is the my Nissan i40 uh, compared to the uh, D700, it's huge. Uh, they do share the same locking mechanism, the same pin, you know, plastic pins with the locks here. This is the missing one, the uh, the i40. This is the D700. This is the uh, the Air One Commander. So, so now let's put some batteries. Um, the battery compartment for this one is on this side. Um, doesn't come out all the way, which is good. So you don't want to lose. And it takes triple A batteries. Um, I'm not sure about the orientation. Oh, found that it's on this side. It tells you which way it goes so so there's an in now I'm gonna do the same for the flash the good thing is you can take the whole cartridge out and you can just load the cartridge I gotta check if they sell more of these. It's plastic, like I was mentioning, but actually it feels really, um, really nice. Although it's plastic, um, cartridge is loaded, and then yeah, it won't fit the other way, which is good. So that way you know that you're filled fitting in the right way perfect uh, let's turn them on let me move let me use this to stand it up real quick to we need to bind the unit with 
the um, commander. So to do that, you have to turn, have the um, equipment off and you gotta press the set button and the power button for three seconds. You hear the beep and then you do the same in the other one. Two, three. And then you hear a beep and it means that they are bind now. They are bound. So to set up the channel you press this for three seconds and then you can select whichever channel you want to go into and you can see they both are changing. I hope that you can see this. To set the channel. So just for I want to do seven, channel seven. And then confirm. They're both in channel seven. Perfect. So just testing that it's working. It's flashing beautifully. Okay, perfect. So now to try it on the 6000 and the A6000. Uh, we gotta make sure that we go to functions, wireless setting, um, which is not gonna allow me until I put this on. So let's connect it here and then go to function, wireless setting, done. So Let's do a quick test to see if it's exposed properly. I'm just going to take a shot of this. And actually the exposure is not bad at all. They are both working together. You know, you're, you can test real quick by flashing. You just saw a flash. Uh, you can control the zoom of each one of the groups. Uh, in this case, I can, you know, make... Um, I just change it to manual, which I'm not. Now you can hear a beep. Uh, you can stop the beep real quick by pressing the power button, just pressing and depressing, and you change it to white, and it won't beep anymore. Um, I can change it. I can change the zoom or each one of the groups. Uh, so if I want to um, change in group A, I can make it, you know, zoom all the way or unzoom. So just so you see it, zooming and unzooming. Um, just so assuming, or I can uh, assume it. So it is pretty neat. Um, what you can do uh, with this, everything you can control from here, um, and you can have NTTL. You know, either uh, give it some exposure compensation or not. So it works as it should. Um, quick thing. Um, Remember your camera has to be set in wireless mode um, So it will work that way. Um, one quick thing is that um, in, Immediately will not allow you to go over the speed sync, you know, 160 um, To enable it you can enable it in the controller and the only thing you do is you press um, the flash the flash pilot for three seconds one two three all right, there you go. There you go. So now it's enabled. I don't know what happened there. That was a bug. Um, good to know to record it too, because it was blinking. But now you can see that it is allowing me to to flash, um, and it's exposing properly. Uh, let me put my ISO uh, to 100. I want to see what it does. Um, I still have some light, but still. Um, of course, it's using a lot of power. Um, you can hear it, uh, but it's exposing the way it's supposed to. Um, I'm not sure about the range, um, you know, but it will it will allow me to be um, creative. I can. I'm gonna try to go outside and test it in a little bit, but if I can't, at least we know that it works. Um, high speed sync works as well. Um, it still will allow me to shoot at 50th of a second, no problem. Um, 
um, so any will control the power uh, and everything um, it looks like a pretty handy solution a wireless solution I can also trigger my missing um, my but optically of course um, so I will need to put like in slave mode uh, Oh, there it is. So both are flashing now. So um, which is great. So you can use it as a slave um, film or digital, but it still will work. Um, so keep in mind that you can use it for triggering all their optical slaves, um, and it doesn't have to be in this, and it can be any other flash. I of course compare the size. You know, there's not even a comparison. This thing is small, and the controller though it looks really neat in the in the uh, A6000. It doesn't look bulky or anything. It looks like it belongs. So I can definitely see myself using it a lot. Um, so far, it's exposing correctly. Um, even you know, not direct. And right now, I'm just using it as a bounce, and you know, I'm putting it on the side. And, and it's properly exposing. I'm gonna bounce it up. Um, let's see what happens. It's exposing correctly. So, um, you know, I'm going to 400. I wanna see what happens there. Um, was a little softer than I wanted to, but definitely, I mean, I guess high speed sync and bouncing won't be too good. Um, let me go into auto, ISO auto, and, and much better. It's exposing correctly. So definitely a great tool to have in the, um, in the bag. Um, I will be testing if I can one of these days outside. And you know, I will give you some of my points and views. Um, we'll see what happens um, with this one. But I'm, I mean, so far I'm happy of the way it looks. Um, it will be, it will enable me to be much efficient just to shoot if I want to shoot when I'm out and about. And I need enough camera solution. Um, I don't have to um, to to be carrying you know two flashes i can just carry this set so system. Hopefully this is helpful let me know if you have any questions um and i'll try to post more updates as i find them available thank you